In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate electric field. The first of three questions asks, what is the electric field 0.6 meters away from a small sphere with a positive charge of 1.23 times 10 to the power of negative 8 coulombs? To calculate the electric field, you will need the following formula, where the magnitude of the electric field represented by this Greek letter epsilon is equal to a constant k times the charge q divided by the distance raised to the power of 2, and that's represented by the letter r. So going back to our first question, we have a positive charge, which I'll represent as a circle, and it is positive. We want to find out what the electric field is 0.6 meters away. So pretend that there is a positive test charge that is 0.6 meters away, and I'll show that distance. By convention, the test charge is always positive. So keep that in mind. Since this is positive and that's positive, we will expect a repulsion. So we'll expect this test point to go outwards. So using that formula, we can find the magnitude of the electric field by taking 9.8, and I'll show you the numbers underneath, 9.8 times 10 to the power of 9 newtons times meters squared per coulomb squared. And we'll multiply that to Q, which is the charge that they've given us. Now, notice that this charge is positive. When you are looking for the magnitude of the electric field, you don't need to consider whether it's positive or negative. So if it were negative, you would simply write it down as a positive number. And in this case, it doesn't matter since it's already positive. All right, so just keep that in mind for question number two when it comes. That then gets divided by the distance, which is 0 0.60 meters, and that's being squared. I'll show you how to put this into your calculator. That way you don't make any mistakes. 9.0 times 10 to the power of 9 multiplied to 1.23 times 10 to the power of negative 8 divided by, notice that each factor goes in its own parentheses. That's to prevent any problems with your calculator. Eventually we get 307.5 the units for electric field are newtons per coulomb, and I'll show you why. This will cancel out with one of these. The meters squared underneath here will cancel out with both of those, leaving you with newtons per coulomb. So that's the magnitude, and the magnitude doesn't have a direction. But electric field generally is a vector quantity. So we need to find out what the direction is before we can call it a vector, and that's how to represent a vector with that arrow. Because we don't know where this test point is along the radius of 0 0.6 meters, it could even be here, we don't know. And since it is positive, then it will always be going out radially. So it will always go out away from the positive test charge. So we'll write down outwards. That's the answer to question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. Two charges, one of 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 9 coulombs and the other of negative 6.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9 coulombs are 42 centimeters apart. Calculate the net electric field at a point P 15 centimeters from the positive charge on the line connecting the charges. Let's begin with an illustration. This time we have a positive charge and a negative charge. And there is a point P that's 15 centimeters away, which I will write down as 0 0.15 meters because we don't want to deal with centimeters. The distance between the positive and the negative spheres is 42 centimeters away, which is 0 0.42 meters. This means that the distance from P to the negative charge, which we'll need later, is 0 0.42 minus 0 0.15, which is 0 0.27 meters. Remember, this is a positive test charge, and two positives will repel one another, which will leave this point pushed that way relative to the positive sphere. And since this is negative and that's positive, then there's an attraction and it will also be going in that direction. 
So we're going to expect this point P to go to the right at the end. Okay, now let's find out the magnitude of the electric field relative to the positive sphere in point P. We'll use E is equal to, again, same as before, 9.8 .8 times 10 to the power of 8 newtons times meters squared per coulomb squared. And that gets multiplied to the charge, the positive charge, 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 9 divided by the distance of 0 0.15 meters raised to the power of 2. Now since you already know how to put this into your calculator, the answer that you should get is the following. 1,280. 1,280 newtons per coulomb. And we're not considering any significant figures right now. Well, let's keep all the numbers intact. That's the magnitude. Now we'll look for the magnitude between this point P and the negative sphere. So we'll repeat this calculation and we will not include the negative charge when calculating. Let me show you what I mean by that. So the negative charge is negative 6.4 and we will not include the negative. Okay, we'll write it down as 6.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9 coulombs because we're only concerned about the magnitude when doing this calculation right now. And the distance was 0 0.27. So if you do this correctly, you should end up with 790.123, roughly that number, newtons per coulomb. Both of these are magnitudes of the electric field. They're not vectors. But just from this illustration alone, we know that this point P will go to the right, right? Because this one is positive and that's positive. So now we have a vector quantity. And since this is positive and that's negative, it's going to go to the right as well. They're on the same line. They're on the same x-axis. So to make this into a vector, we will write down its direction to the right. Now to find out the net electric field, we will sum them up. So that's the Greek letter sigma and epsilon, which is the net electric field. We will now combine 1,280 newtons per coulomb plus 790.123 newtons per coulomb using our calculator, the number on our screen plus 790.123. We need this to two significant figures because we started off with two significant figures here and here. So this sum to two significant figures is 2,100 newtons per coulomb. Remember that these two trailing zeros here are insignificant. You can write it out like this or 2.1 times 10 to the power of three also works. If you are interested in more complicated questions involving electric field, make sure to watch part two of this series where I go through question number three, in addition to a fourth question, which is the hardest of them all. If you're interested, make sure to watch that. Otherwise, thank you for watching and feel free to comment below to ask questions.